this thing can just confirm tomorrow, 3250 guys. Again, look how much room we have. Again, if you believe in the theory, stocks trade from supply to supply. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good session today. Uh, again, uh, I want to uh, send um, good wishes and good fortune, good spirits, and all that good stuff for anybody who is in the Northeast, especially uh, in the tri-state area. We're about to get hit with like two feet of snow. So uh, hopefully you guys have a lot of supplies, uh, your generators are working, you have food, and more important, you have your health and your family. So hopefully, again, it won't be uh, as bad as they say, but they did say you know up to two feet uh, over the next uh, day or so. So we'll see what happens. So is it finally time uh, for the mega cap technology names to wake up? Okay, that, that's the million dollar question. And we've seen uh, periods of a lot of really good strength uh, in Amazons, in Facebooks, in Apples of the world. And then also we've seen after their initial move, we've also seen these stocks do nothing for the next two, three weeks. So it's one of those scenarios that I'm going into tomorrow's session really hopeful. Okay, I think that's the best way of saying it. And what we've seen now over the last week or so, we're starting to get a little bit of confidence that, yes, as much as we talk about the EV names and the SPAC names and everything that uh, goes along with it, and these little biotech stocks and all, so forth and so on, but more important, you know, is this finally the market? Is this finally uh, the match that's going to light the fluid that's going to really have a towering inferno effect? on the first quarter of 2021 with these mega cap stocks. And we started getting those answers about a week ago. And it started with Netflix, right? You guys remember Netflix uh, was a beautiful move here and then did nothing for the last few days. And then it finally woke up a couple of days ago. And now it's really attempting to come out of this channel again. Looks really, really good. Apple yesterday had a really big move above this 26 level, huge order flow again today. You know, even when the stock was um, you know, taking a little bit of profit taking this morning, you start still seeing people on dips, like literally on repeat, uh, going for the 130 weeklies, the 132 weeklies. We even saw some pretty good uh, aggressive call buyers coming in for the February 145. So, you know, really good order flow there. We've been speaking about Amazon. We talked about Amazon last night. We've been talking about these levels on Amazon for a long time. And finally, and again, we'll get, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. This is this is a monster in the making. It finally reclaimed the 50-day moving average. And, and as we started talking about last week, again, the series buyers are still there. And they're coming in with really big money on the line. They're coming for the 3,200 weeklies in the money, uh, the 3,300 weeklies. Some guys are coming in for the 3,400 weeklies. And the reason why they were coming for the 3,400 weeklies is you see this little channel here? This is the last line of defense for the Bears. If the Bulls can reclaim this channel, this has nothing but air, folks. This is literally 100, 150 points, at least 100, 150 points, nothing but air. So you could see, slowly but surely, Microsoft, right? Kind of the same pattern as, in, uh, as Netflix, so the same pattern as, as Amazon, right? It's coming out of this, this area here, first close above supply. So really, really bullish. Chipotle got upgraded today, went absolutely bananas, right? Took out the 1360, uh, 1360 pre-market pivot, confirmed 1385, and went all the way up to 1354. Shopify, right, on the heels of Amazon. Again, came out of this channel, confirmed this macro channel, and the only reason it didn't go higher today, it got stuffed at the linear regression line. But look how close it is, right, to coming out of this whole, whole channel here. So it's one trade, literally one trade at a time, one move at a time in a lot of these names, but slowly but surely they are starting to, you know, starting to get some life. And as we say all the time, as much as it's cool, you know, trade, like I put it this way, we traded some stock today, ISR for all things. Again, this shows you how incredible this market is. This thing literally went from 45 cents to 53 on an upgrade of all things from Oppenheimer of a dollar price. So again, it does show you how much speculation money there is still in this market. But at the end of the game, as much as I, you know, I don't mind trading these little suckers, 
When you see an Amazon coming out of a channel, when you see an, a Microsoft coming out of a channel, an Apple did a fantastic job today, uh, put it in inside that. You can see the volume yesterday, monster volume, uh, a third of the volume today. It closed right at the middle of the channel here, putting an inside day, which is super duper bullish. And if this thing could just reclaim this 28, 29 level for tomorrow, this thing's gonna have upside as well. So we're set up, man. We really are set up. It's now the time for the bulls, right? The mega cap technology bulls to finally live with prosperity. That's the best way we can say it. You know, how many times have we seen through 2000, you got a big move and do nothing for three weeks. Got a big move, did nothing for three months. It's time to shine, okay, bulls? It's time to shine. Uh, and, and I have to believe, and this is kind of my whole theory uh, for 2021. I'm not even, I don't even remember if I even shared it. I, I do believe, the amount of new money raised by hedge funds and index funds, right? Uh, the people who are raising money to the fourth quarter to getting new money, new customers, they have to put their money somewhere, okay? And if you are an, a technology fund, there's no better feel-good places to go to than beta. The Facebooks of the world, the Apples of the world, the Amazons of the world. So if they don't drop the ball, and I'm, and I'm hoping, and again, the only, the only thing you can do right now is just literally hope, if we could finally get a second wave of these stocks confirming today's channels for tomorrow, then we are really set up into not only a strong seasonal finish into the you know into the end of the end, end of the year, but we're finally set up for these stocks coming out of bottom, right? And think about it, they're all coming out of bottom or mid bases. And if they do start confirming these prices, we should have a, a really aggressive year end, okay? Uh, and a very, very aggressive start for 2021. So again, fingers crossed, all we need to do is for them to, to reclaim tomorrow, today's channels, and I think we could get a day to run. Again, we've said that a lot of times in the last three months or so. So again, bulls, the bulls in your court do not fumble it. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about today's pivots. And, and again, it was very, very important to see that these things not only woke up, but woke up with a lot of option flow. Matter of fact, we started seeing towards the end of the day, a buyer came in for the December 31st, 550s on, 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 on Netflix with some pretty good size. So you're starting to see not only the names are coming out, they're coming out with a lot of speculation money, betting on a future result, better on future uh, price action. So it's very, very important. So let's talk about today. Uh, Apple almost got down to the bottom of the range here. And I, I talked about Apple uh, this morning. I said, look, if it could get down to the 126.30s, it should add some pretty good support for a bounce. Unfortunately, it got down to like 126.50s and never got there and bounced. And it went red to green for a little bit, put in a high of 128.30s, but it was kind of obvious. And we talked about this in the webinar. It was probably gonna have a rest day after its really, really exaggerated move yesterday. It was good to see them not only defend the bottom range of the 60 minute channel, but actually go back to green. And again, it, it didn't fail today. It was just resting. So I still like Apple for tomorrow. And if it starts reclaiming channels, it's going to absolutely explode. Uh, Chipotle 1360 needs to build a $1,500 price target from uh, Stifle, I believe. And there was also, and not only was that, right? Not only that, then I turned around and said, look, not only that, but there's a 1385 52 week high, huge spot. And here was, you know, here was Chipotle, right? Here is CMG. It took out the 1360, right? It took out the 1360 pre-market range. And then it took out 1385 and it went all the way up to uh, 1420s. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught that trade. Uh, Tesla, again, we're one day away. Theoretically, logically, you would think there'd be one more run up, right? And Tesla ahead of the inclusion. But again, what we've learned a long time ago, there's no such thing as logic when it comes to trading. So again, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, Netflix, again, went uh, at the end of the day, 525, only went to 527. I still like it. I still, still like it. Uh, again, call buyers are starting to come in. Niv NVIDIA, I, I'm convinced. I'm, I'm, every time I, I, I have to stop talking about the stock, okay? I'm not going to talk about this NVIDIA anymore until it starts confirming channels. What are you waiting for, for God's sake? Just asking. Amazon was definitely the biggest move today. Uh, Amazon 31.92, 31.93 needs to reclaim. A uh, bunch of near term 32, 33, 3400 call buyers came in. Uh, Amazon absolutely exploded, right? 
So it took out this whole channel here, right? This 31, 92, 93 level just exploded into uh, 3247. If this thing can just confirm tomorrow, 3250 guys, again, look how much room we have. Again, if you believe in the theory, stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, any close tomorrow above 3250 folks. And I know, I know a lot of you guys are holding on uh, to calls, any close over 3250, this thing has at least 150, 200 points in it. So yeah, there's a lot of potential. You could, you could say there's a lot of potential in Amazon. Uh, B, my still like, never got close to the $39 level today. Uh, this SPAC name I was watching never got close there. RKT never got close there. Uh, Chipotle again went nuts. Blink, congratulations for all you guys who caught some Blink. Uh, there was a PR on Blink, charging, schmarging, Arizona something, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, took out the $30 area, uh, went almost to $32. Big, big move there. It still looks higher. It does still look higher for tomorrow's session. Uh, Amazon, again, like I said, any close over $32.50 is epic. It traded today to the 3247 uh, Apple, again, getting stronger. Again, call buyers are coming in. Feb 145 buyers are coming in. So Apple is set up. Just a good res day for that. Uh, buy do I kind of like for a blow off top. Uh, JMIA, I kind of like uh, going into tomorrow as well. And there was actually a really cool trade here after the close. Uh, again, we started putting a lot of these after hours plays. Uh, the funny thing is they actually work really well on the smaller cap names. Uh, NXTD was definitely the big one this, uh, this evening. Uh, NXTD took some early profit taking, uh, came back in, reclaimed 92, 93 after hours, traded all the way up to like 103 uh, in the after hours. Uh, SLCA really didn't do, didn't do anything. It traded up maybe uh, 15, 20 cents. It still looks higher. But uh, again, this was specifically for the overnight play. So, you know, we're definitely set up tomorrow. Okay, we are definitely set up. Uh, obviously, any week open today, uh, tomorrow, um, you know, into rising 60 minute support, especially in Amazon, especially in, in Apple, in Netflix as well. If they start gobbling up and defending bottom ranges, we should have another premium session for tomorrow. Guys, God bless. Have a great night, everybody. Please stay so safe. And with God's help, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys.